Welcome to Stable Automation. Here, I have already created a project in TI Portal version 15 with 5 tags and tag names are tags underscore 1 to tag underscore 5. Also, I have already created a VB script for inserting data into SQL. Link to download the script is given with the video description. The second script is for incrementing local text values. Now, from the schedule task, I am triggering both the script every minute. So, all text will be increased every minute and data will be inserted in QSUL every minute. First, we will check server and database name. You don't require to have SQL Server Management Studio for inserting data. It is for checking the data that will be inserted using our script. Now down here, server name. I already have some databases, but we will create a new database and table for testing purpose. This reporting tool can create a database and table in required format to insert data. If you require your own format to insert into SQL, then you will be required to create a SQL table accordingly. We will create a new database with name report underscore one. Make sure you have entered correct server name here. Username and password for your SQL server if you have defined any. Okay, now let's create a database with the name report underscore one. Let's check in SQL Management Studio. Database is created. There is no table available at the moment. So from here, we will create a table with name history. Created successfully. Let's check in SQL. History table with different column is created. Now to insert data into SQL, we will create ODBC connection. Open administrator tool and go to data source. In user DSN, add a new data source and select SQL Server. Give any name, this will be required to configure in our VB script of WinCC. and select SQL Server from drop-down option. In next window, you can define authentication method. Here, we will select our database that is report underscore one. In the last step, you can test your connection.
Now we will define this ODBC source in our script. Update DSN name in web script. And also database name. Your table name should come here. In our case, table name is history. Now we will create a button to call our web script answer. So when this button is pressed, it will execute the web script insert. We will check this data in SQL. Right now, there is no data in any column. Now we will start the runtime and check. Given some random values to each tags. And executing command. Now let's execute our query in, again in SQL. So we have data here punched from our WinCC. Values are incremented by our other script. So same will be available in SQL. As our event is triggering every minute, it will increment values and insert into SQL every minute. New data is inserted. Now to generate report, we will use a different database where WinCC has already inserted values for ours. This report button is for opening a report tool located on my desktop. We need to update our database name in this tool. In this tool, database maintenance is for deleting the older records. This will free up some space in your SQL. Sample path where you want a report sample file is located. This Excel file is our sample report file. You can edit company name, logo and other details here. And this location is where you want to save your reports. Now let's generate a report. Select date and time for which you want to create a report.
and select interval at which data should be generated. And here a report. Data is generated as per our selected in row form. Let's generate with a different time and interval. And report is generated. So this way report can be generated with required date, time and interval. Download link for this report tool is given in the video description. Please note, this tool is created for white tags only. For more tags and customized report, tool is available commercially.